Shalom, shalom, family. This is Grammy, y'all. I am coming today with an easy candle making tutorial, you guys. It is so easy. You can get your kids and your grandkids to help you with this project. They will love it. But the candles are for when the lights go out, whether it's out for an hour or it's out for days, weeks, or months. These candles right here will last a long time. And guess what? And these candles today will be made out of Crisco, you guys. Yes, Crisco. And have you guys ever noticed? Crisco even have the little candle emblem right there. So this is perfect for candles, okay? It is so simple. So get you some Crisco or you can go and get the name brand from the store, it doesn't matter as long as it's, it's lard, okay? And I did check, this doesn't have any um, pork in it, okay? And so what you do is just open up your Crisco, get your spatula, and today I'm using cannon jars, you guys. This one right here is a half pint. This is an eight ounce cannon jar. And this one right here is a four ounce cannon jar. Usually, you know, you can can jellies with these and everything, just the little jelly jars. And if you want a larger one, you can go with the pint size. And if you want an even larger can candle, go with the quart. But today I'm gonna show you in a eight ounce jar. I like these jars because they're low profile. And if a candle is burning, it'll be hard to turn this over. I like the low profile. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm getting ready to take my Crisco and load it up inside my half paint jar, my eight ounce jar. Okay, and I heard that these candles last for weeks. You know, you won't be using them 24 seven. You'll just use them when your lights go out and you're not gonna be using them while you are sleeping. So they will last for weeks, you guys. And so what you do is just, let me wipe off this. What you do is just fill up your jar and just press down as much as you can. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna run into these air pockets that's okay we're going to get rid of these air pockets and so what we're going to do is let me get as much as i can in here there we go what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this in a microwave right now for one minute okay okay so while it's in the microwave for one minute I'm going to use the smaller one, the little four ounce jars. I'm going to get this filled, okay, while we're waiting on that. And this is a cheap way of making candles, you guys. This has been tried and true. I've seen other people do it on the internet. And you know, you always add your little twist to it. So I'm gonna use these little four ounce jars. My little four ounce jelly jars. And there you go. And there is no way you can get those air pockets out. That's why we put it in the microwave so it can solidify, okay? So there goes my microwave. Here we go. Here is my Crisco oil. It is all melted, you guys. Let me bring you a little closer. It is all melted. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go around the edges and get the unmelted Crisco oil from around it and just let that sit in there. 
And once it gets all melted, and be careful because it's hot. So once it gets all melted and the bubbles are gone, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the refrigerator, but for video time's sake, I've already melted one and already put it in the refrigerator or you can put it in the freezer. So while that's over here melting, here's one that I've already done. I've melted it and I've put it in the freezer. I put it in the freezer just to um, make it gel quicker for 30 minutes, only 30 minutes, you guys, yes. And so what I'm gonna do now, now we're gonna have to add the wick. It has solidified, okay? It is solid now, okay? So what I'm gonna do is take my jar. I was thinking that a regular birthday candle would do it, but the regular birthday candle is a little bit too long. So what you can do is just take and just cut the excess of the birthday candle. That's it. Go back to your jar, stick it back in your jar. I'm gonna take a little bit more just don't take too much. Just take a little bit at a time. This should do it. This is how much I cut off, okay? So I'm gonna go back to my jar and stick it in my jar. And that's gonna be perfect. So now that I have my perfect size candle, now I'm just gonna stick it right in the middle, right down in the middle. Just like that. Look at that. I have a candle. Just like that. That easy, you guys. And to show you that I have a candle, I'm going to light it. Voila. And it only takes about 30 minutes to make a candle. So cheap. I'll be able to make so many candles with this one can of Crisco, you guys. And check this out. Not only do you have a candle, look at that. Like I said, when the lights go out, you, you got your candle. I'm gonna melt this out up right here and it'll be a little candle for the kids. And we know that these will not break because these are canning jars. You know, these jars go under pressure, okay? So I'm gonna blow this candle out. Awesome. And then I'm gonna store this candle. I'm gonna use my regular lid and I'm gonna use my ring. Now I have a candle waiting. So when the lights go out, where will you be? Not in the dark. This is so simple, you guys. If you like this video, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I love you guys, and I hope this was so easy. And I pray that you guys will make your own candles because we don't know when the lights going to go out. And sometimes the electric company turns the light out, lights out when they're doing work in your area. So never be caught in the dark. Okay, family? Like I said, this is eight ounces. You can do a four ounce, 16 ounce, and even as, as big as the quart for a larger candle. And they don't get hot. So always be careful and not to have anything around your candle to light a fire. So that thing, that we don't want. We want everybody to live to see another day. I love you guys, but guess what? I love the most high more. Shalom.